There have been many issues with the channel, with YouTube, me getting monetized, not monetized. I may be getting back, maybe not. That's for me to deal with. This is not a full channel update. I am just going to say, please support the other channel. That's Examining Kubrick. And that is related to this video I'm going to do here, exposing a few Scientology people. But I will withhold a few things to motivate you to subscribe to the other channel. You don't have to. It's just a motivation device. So let us get to it. One of them is well known. The other one I don't think is as well known. And it's a particularly weird case involving Tom Cruise. But let's deal with Ashton. Oh, my Ashton. And this is ironically a partial praise video because although I don't think Ashton is a great actor, I can't deny he's a good actor. I will say up front, even before I learned about all the um, issues, Scientology, fraud, the serial killer. Yeah, there's a serial killer involved. Yeah, of a former girlfriend who got victimized. Okay, point is Ashton is an insane mess of scandal and controversy. However, I can't say I didn't really have suspicions. When he first arrived on the scene, I knew he was a fraud. This whole act like, <laughs> I'm a folksy guy from the Midwest. I didn't buy it for a single second. All this moralizing, guys, did I just wear a trucker hat? Uh, just like you guys? <laughs> I didn't buy it for a single second. I knew he had scandals. I knew this guy was overperforming. But I figured, yeah, he's a Hollywood guy. I'm sure he has scandals. You have scandals. I have scandals. We all have scandals. I figured they were normal scandals. But they're not. They're really devastating scandals. And this is where it gets worse. With the butterfly effect. Again, I'm not saying it's a perfect film. I'm just saying for me, it really resonates. It's a really interesting kind of multiverse time travel sci-fi film. But it also has, which is very ironic, deals with a lot of interesting issues with trauma, memory, family, romance. It's a really interesting film and works at so many different levels. There's even like nice 1990s moments. It's a really interesting film. It's been a long time since I've seen it all the way through, but it is sad. I have to close a chapter there that uh, I can't recommend paying for this legitimately. If you do want to see it, try to see it in, um, again, it's YouTube. I have to say this other ways. I will leave it to the imagination. And if you are going to pay for it legitimately, try to have a matching fund, I guess. Like try to contribute to a charity or something that's in anti-Scientology. Not the Aftermath Foundation because of Claire, but, you know, help out if you can, if you can. But why is it so bad? Because you people would say, hey, hey, aren't you being illogical? You're you're always saying, let's be critical and logical. And Ethan is in this film. And people are like, what? Ethan is in this film. Ethan Supley is a Scientologist. Now, I've heard he's left the church. That doesn't matter. There is a Scientology connection to, I may not like it, you may not like it, but there is now a connection. So, there we are. And let us round it off with the friend of a friend of Tom Cruise. As many people know, or you don't know, Tom Cruise's son and daughter, by the way, are also in the cult. Okay, that is his prerogative, that is their prerogative. And guess what? They have some Hollywood friends. And one of these Hollywood friends, oh, he's in it all the way. He's in it all the way. He's gone to the charity events. His wife is also in the cult. So he's a very prominent Scientologist. He's been in it for decades. Now, you may not know who this guy is, but he's actually been in probably some of your favorite films. Which films? I will expose them in the other channel. So if you want to find out more details, just go to the other channel. We will get into what's his name. It is an interesting question. Like, where do we cut off the line with these Scientologists? If they are allies or directly in Scientology and they are putting out films or albums, do we fully ignore it? Do we ban it? Do we not support them? And if we do support them, are we guilty? Are we implicated? It's a very difficult question. I would say the butterfly effect definitely counts because we have one Scientology ally, not a small ally. This guy is big. Ashton has been helping his friends in Scientology for a long time in all kinds of devious ways. And we have a full-blown Scientologist. So, yeah, unfortunately, I think the butterfly effect is lost. I'm still going to see the film here and there where I can, but, you know, even watching clips on YouTube is technically helping Ashton. I don't know if I can go full turkey, but I'm going to try to find ways to still appreciate the film and see it and review it. But I will always forewarn people, this is a Scientology scamology thing going on here, which is unfortunate. The film deserves better, as well as the people in it, especially Amy Smart. She gave an excellent performance.
to have a huge crush on her, but she gave an excellent performance. And it's a shame her performance is now linked to the uh, evils of David Miscavige. So it's a sad day, but hopefully everyone will have a good day today. But I feel a little sad reflecting on this.